Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Barely Necessities, LaughingPlace.com's show where we browse Disney merchandise. I'm the co-founder of Laughing Place, Rebecca Mosley, and with me, as always, is our site manager, Rebecca Burbank. Hey, Becca, how's it going over there? It's good. I'm good. How are you? I am. I'm doing well, and I'm excited because we've got so much to cover. We've got some new emos costumes. We've got um, our uh, roving reporter, Jeremiah, discovered some keychains at Disney World, some Raya, some Dooney. We've got lots coming, so I'm, I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> Diving right into it. The new emos cos everyday cosplay collections by Ashley and Eckstein and uh, Wes Jenkins uh, made their debut. Yes, they did. Yeah, they're on Shop Disney now, and I believe at the uh, different Disney resorts. And yeah, um, that's one of Ashley's. Of course, she has an Ahso Ahsoka Tano and um, Alice in Wonderland. So those are so cute. <laughs> and then Wes did some fun, uh, some fun items as well. Oh yeah, and there's also the Minnie Mouse, um, the Minnie Mouse uh, Valentine's Day one. But yeah, uh, the Cinderella. I think that is supposed to be and that was ashley these outfits are 17.99 that's supposed to be oogie boogie and that's a wes uh wes jenkins design and i'm like it's, that's, it's, that's pretty it's, fun yeah it's a it's a green puffy coat with um purple and magenta I, I call that magenta maybe it's fuchsia um spiders creep crawlies on it and thanks to the hooded element it gives kind of that sh that shape that's recognizable yep. as oogie boogie so yeah, you can uh, cosplay uh, your new emo as the Oogie Boogie, and then the yellow jacket with the uh, red uh, squared pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our favorite uh, toy cowboy, right? Come, yes. come to life, new emo cosplay style. Yes. Yeah. And then, and then once again, you said these were retailing at seventeen ninety nine. Yes, that's correct. And in case you aren't that familiar with the new emos, when you um, purchase an outfit like this, like here's Minnie Mouse dressed uh, in the Rapunzel style, it's a, a multi-piece outfit. So you have her, her hat, you have the uh, shirt and, and jumper, and then you also have little shoes that are able to go over top the, uh, sh the traditional yellow shoes that Minnie Mouse is uh, kind of part of her uh, out like established outfit. And so these fit like they slip right over it and you can trans therefore transform those shoes into a different style. Yeah. So lots of fun, lots of fun with the new emos. I um I have my Minnie Mouse. She sits on my on my desk here and uh, nice nice and posable as you uh as they uh, highlight in the images with the way they have them facing one way or another. So <laughs> um over at Walt Disney World, Jeremiah stumbled on a collection of adorable, wishable keychains. Isn't that great? <laughs> they're so sweet with the and they're and they're pretty much you take those little plush with the um, star shape, uh, what a pupil, um, and. Uh, they transform them into a keychain form. They have. Uh, I'm going to highlight a few here from the. Uh, Frozen. So Olaf, Elsa, and Anna as well. And then, of course, you've got to have some Disney food items. So your Dole Whip mm -hmm. and uh, Mickey Bar. So cute. <laughs> and these are all uh, 10, I'm sorry, 9.99. But a continuation of that uh, wishable. Um, and these were hanging on the rack. So a lot of times these wishable items tend to appear in kind of, you know, blind bag purchases and um, and all that. Oh, see, just as Kyle points out, right, exactly. They're yeah. not blind box. So you can now start to collect your wishables. Just walk up, 
see it hanging on the on on the rack and bring it home. Yep. I know. Isn't that great? It's it's nice sometimes because you know exactly what you want. As much as I enjoy the mystery of like a blind bag, it is nice to have to be able to get <laughs> exactly what you want. So among these various ones, Becca, which one do you think you'd want to bring home? Would you bring home a, a um, movie, you know, Frozen, or would you be bringing home one of those uh, Disney treats? What, what do you think you'd, you'd want to bring home with you? Well, I always like a good uh, Mickey bar. Those are so good. <laughs> but I think I like the hat box ghost, actually, uh, from, from Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Yeah, he would. I thought he was. I thought he was pretty adorable as well. Let's see. Next up, we've got a lot of merchandise that made its way from the film. Okay, you're gonna have to say the film because I keep miss miss saying it. It's Raya. I want to say Raya, but in the in the trailer, she says I'm Raya. So Raya and the Last Dragon. <laughs> I have been practicing saying it over and over again to get it right. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a there's some new merchandise that arrived on Shop Disney. I'm really glad you have that pin up because that was something that I, I definitely wanted to look at. Um, it's what 59. And, uh, um, I want I think you. To my shopping bag keeps getting away. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I think it's like a three inch by three inch pin, so it's actually a really large, uh, large pin. Wow. Yeah. I think is what. Yeah, so. almost four, almost almost four inches, three and seven eighths by three and five eighths. So yeah, this is a big pin. Right, and then the background spins, of course, as we've seen ah. on many Disney pins, they have they have those fun features, so you can play a little bit with your <laughs> display. Wow, that's good. oh, that's really beautiful, and the coloring on it's gorgeous as well, mm -hmm. with all the characters whose names I haven't quite learned yet, but I think yeah, I. I I think I can be forgiven since the film hasn't arrived. So no, I'm with, I'm with you there. <laughs> I was caught by this uh, adorable mug with mm -hmm. the, the stacked mug. So the Anji, right? Or Onji. I, I don't that. even know. <laughs> so. There you go. They're so cute. Their little faces. The stunning uh, silhouette style mm -hmm. uh, t-shirt of Raya the um, color changing. I'm gonna flip through some of these. Yeah. Becca, you oh, yeah. That's with. great, that's great. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot There's a lot here and we didn't even put everything in our article because it's just, it's so much. But yeah, there's a there's um, new plush. So if you're looking for plush or for toys, that's, that's there. And as we've seen a couple of shirts. Sisu yeah, have some, caught that's, me. That's the... Mm -hmm. It, no, the, just the design of this is so pretty. And then with this ability to kind of illuminate and the, I just, it was really striking as I was looking through the uh, merchandise. Yeah, I like, I think it's Tuk Tuk. I think that's how you say his name. <laughs> and I think he'll be, a, I think he's a, a big part of um, Raya's uh, adventure. I think she, uh, he trains with her when she, when he's little and then continues Oh, he's like her her sidekick. And they I like have cuddly versions as well as the traditional um, 11 inch um, uh, dress up doll of the uh, main characters. Yep. As well as uh, luggage and a towel. I really like this color scheme. They're going with these really, these vibrant colors. I agree. I think it, yeah, I think it's pretty, and it's it's nice to see a couple different artistic takes on on character already. So we haven't even seen the movie yet, and we've already got a few different um, artistic styles to to choose from. So there's and a sword, lot. a light up sword. Yep, I like light up swords. I like <laughs> I, I'm 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 partial to light up toys, but light up swords sounds really cool. So it even um. It even has three modes, they say, the on off and then the the demo and it has action noise. So it means that mm. it sounds like when you swing it around, you'll get to hear maybe that metal clanging noise or maybe her sword will have some sort of special, special sound. So I'm excited to, uh, I don't know, not only am I excited about the toys that are coming out around it, but you know, it's like these kind of give you a little bit of a taste of the, of the movie itself. Mm -hmm. The fact that this blade and this toy is not, you know, just a very, 
uh, streamlined shape. It's this curved blade, just all these small little, little elements are beginning to, you know, introduce us to these characters that I'm sure we are going to fall in love with and see for many, many years to come because, you know, it's a Disney movie. So that's, that's the right. way it really works, right? Yes. So. Yeah, <laughs> and even pajamas for the kids. There's there's so much. There's so much that they that they added to Shop Disney the other day. So and I think the movie comes out on March 5th, right? It's gonna be in theaters as well as on uh, Disney Plus through Premier Access for $29.99. So if you're not feeling like venturing out to theaters, you can watch it from home. Over at um, Disney World, a new Dooney purse made its appearance. Mm -hmm. um, a, a Talia was the theme. And we've seen a, uh, I think they had a Hello Mate or something. They, they've they done, Dooney and Burke has done uh, the United Kingdom Pavilion, and now they have their Italian Pavilion collection. And a black background, kind of a chalk drawing outline type mm -hmm. uh, artistry with words, you know, you associate with uh, Italy, right? You just associate with your trip to Italy, uh, arrivederci, tiramisu, which is my favorite Italian word, mm -hmm. ciao. Um, it's a crossbody, it's a satchel, and if you really want to complete the outfit, they've even got the, the Mickey, the uh, Mickey man, nope, the <laughs> magic man, <laughs> which comes with a Dooney um, tag, um, and it also comes in its own uh, designer uh, style box with the with the print on it. So that's also a limited edition availability. And these are all on Shop Disney. This is really sweet with the lean, with the Tower of Pisa. Yep. Uh, Mickey in a gondola. Yeah, and then there's like a little uh, Vespa on there. You've got the little <laughs> ice cream cone with the gelato. So. I think there's even coffee mug, like a little coffee mug with espresso, or maybe not that. It's the espresso maker, the little espresso maker. That's so sweet. Uh, no, I, and and of course the Italian flag waving yes. proudly yes. as well. So really sweet, uh, sweet design. And honestly, some of the um, artwork on it um, reminds me of the. Uh, choices that Disney made with their Epcot Pavilion. Some of it uh, is, uh, some of those structures are also uh, featured on, on this bag design. So it it's kind of, for me, like a double celebration. It's Italy and then also Epcot's Italy, for lack of a, for lack of a right, better way right. to describe it. <laughs> oh, but, you can't go wrong. <laughs> um, Funko, you had a lot of Funko stuff popping up this week, Becca. Yes, yes. Uh, Lee helped with a lot of that. He he took care of most of that. So, <laughs> um, yes, there was so much. They just wrapped up their Funko Fair, and uh, we've got so, so, so many. Uh, but this we wanted to highlight, too. We wanted to highlight the Alice in Wonderland, and then we'll also talk about Pinocchio. So it's the 70th anniversary of Alice, and these items are available for pre-order now. Um, some pop exclusives or some pops will be available widely and then others will be exclusive to Walmart, Target, and Box Lunch. But uh, they're, that one's, yeah, some of them are a little more expensive. Uh, some of the standard ones, though, are about $10.99, $10.90, something somewhere in that area. But yeah, I like the one with, with the flowers. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was surprised by the... Um... It was, it's a nice like scene as opposed to just mm -hmm. a, a singular pop. And then um, from Walmart, I'm sorry, no, from Target is this one where she's on a base. So it looks like kind of as if she's falling, mm -hmm. falling down the rabbit hole. So a lot of, they're like going beyond kind of just the statuesque um, poses for these uh, Funko. And that's an exciting uh, continuation of uh, people's Funko collections. Um, with uh, Pinocchio, they're um, bringing us uh, Figaro and Cleo. Uh, Pinocchio making his way to school, apple in hand, book in hand. Um, yeah. I uh, really like the Jiminy Cricket books a million that's all sparkly. Ooh, and they even did a special video to make sure you knew just how sparkly it is, right? Oh, so sparkly. That's so fun. 
Oh, he's he, quite quite adorable, and it's it's uh, cute to me how he has like this really uh, disheveled, torn cap, but yet it sparkles. Yep. Um, and then the blue fairy, they have a chaser uh, with glittery dress. So that's I'm going to call her the MSEP blue fairy. So we'll have the blue fairy and then the electrical parade blue fairy. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So lots of lots of Funko classic Disney fun coming to Funko with. Uh, celebration of Alice in Wonderland and Pinocchio and stay tuned to Laughing Place. Right now, these are pre-orders, but I'm sure when they do actually hit shelves, we'll make sure to highlight them again. So that way um, you definitely uh, don't don't miss them. That's right. Let's see, where are we headed next? Becca, I'm looking at my list and it is telling me we're over to the world of Marvel. Yeah. And there was some zombie stuff. Yep, some more, more pops. But <laughs> I just oh, figured yeah. these are uh, while we're still while we're still kind of in the pop mode. Um, these are coming in March, and they're ten ninety nine each. And then there's also some keychains that are like five ninety nine. So the zombies, uh, there was a whole like Marvel comic series, I guess, about it. Max written about it. <laughs> he knows more than I do, but. Now we've got some pop figures that are reminiscent of the um, z the zombie versions of the characters from the comics. So. Well, my screen is currently not letting me share, so so okay. um, I will let you talk about which ones there were. There was um, Thor and mm -hmm. some others. Doctor Doom, I believe, and Gambit. So. Uh, I think there's a Hulk as well, and we've seen. I think they've had some zombie characters. Pops characters before, but this is just their their next wave. So just picture your favorite Marvel characters as zombies. Okay, give me just a sec, Becca. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to get things going over here. That's okay. And of course, folks, we're live. So if anybody has any questions or yeah. has any comments about any of the merchandise we're talking about, feel free to to say so. Uh, hmm. I just crashed. Yeah, just let me know. You'll be okay, I'll be right back, Becca. Give me a moment. Okay. So you you chat. I'll be back. I'm gonna I'll have chat. to sign off. All right. <laughs> we can do this, right? <laughs> um. So yes, there's there's so much coming. I'm sorry I don't have more to show you at the moment, but uh, we've also uh, we'll go through the Hasbro Marvel Legends Maestro figure that. Um, it's a entertainment earth so if you're into the marvel comics if you've been reading maestro uh, he's bruce banner who's been exposed to even more radiation so he's got the intelligence of bruce banner and hulk's strength so that's a character that they just released a figure for and that's on entertainment earth for 29.99 and then we also are going to look really quick at the sword pullover top from uh, shop disney that is inspired by WandaVision. So if you've been watching WandaVision, they've been releasing, slowly releasing items each week uh, along with the new episodes. And there'll be a, there's, yeah, there's a new sweatshirt. Oh, lots of, lots of exciting Marvel stuff. I personally, um, I'm going to jump back really quick. Oh, did we get Rebecca back? Aha, we got Rebecca, or at least we got a screen. So yes, there's the, there's the pullover. Yay! Sorry about that. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's, there's your there's your one division pullover with the yes. sword the sword logo that I heard Becca talking about as my screen fired back up. Yeah, sentient weapon observation response department uh, logo on it, which was obviously heavily featured in uh, episode four of one division. What other items did you want me to go ahead and um, highlight some of those Funko you talked about, Becca? Um, either the Funkos or if you have the Maestro figure, I just I can do that. Just show a picture of that. So I can um, bring that up for you. There you go. Yeah. So that's that's Hulk with even more radiation exposure. So yeah, and these figures are really cool in that he comes with like an initial um, hand pose, and then they have others uh, available to you, so you can you know have kind of the open hand or the closed fist depending on how you want to present your Hulk figure. Exactly. 
Yeah, lots of lots of exciting. Did you want to highlight any? Of, I I obviously I was out of it. So do you want to highlight any of your other fun, uh, Marvel Funko, or or are you ready to move on to our next uh, topic? I think, at hand? I think we can move on. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some um, the child merchandise uh, came to shop shop Disney this week, and this is kind of a, a different look at um, a Disney brand. I'd I'd say it's not a, a, a typical uh, design style. So I'll let you uh, talk about it a little bit, Becca. Yeah, they've got this streetwear collection that's inspired, of course, by Grogu. And it's mostly for adults. They don't have any kid size clothing right now, but it looks really, really comfortable. And you kind of, you've kind of got these more muted tones with little pops of color, uh, just very, very casual and accessible to go with, with everything. Um, and yeah, he's there too. <laughs> can't have can't have the child collection without some some imagery of the child, but. This looks this looks really fun. This is definitely something that I would wear. Did you have any thoughts about the collection? It's 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 different. I think I'm more fond of the way that it appears on the like the design style for the backpacks I, I, and the um the gear. That's the word I'm looking mm -hmm. for. I think I think I like it on the gear more than I'm enjoying it on the the um t-shirts and 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 whatnot i especially was i'm fond of the beanie and ball cap but the, even the the beanie more so here let me pull up the beanie because i like it and this bag thing man okay i know <laughs> I, I run into the same issues <laughs> battling the bag so yeah um so yeah he's really grogu is adorable on the uh edge of this uh beanie with the with the little poof on top, so I think this is uh, my my more favorite of the uh, st streetwear. But but I do like this with the child on the back and the uh, lettering along the 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 sleeve, and it's so simple, just you know, bunches of circles and triangles to uh, bring Grogu to to life on this design. So really, you know, different uh, different take. I like when uh, I like when Disney kind of moves beyond the typical design um, style. You know, lets you mm -hmm. e explore uh, different moods, even though it's the same character. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited about the child streetwear that has just come to shop Disney. Well, with mm -hmm. that, I get to uh, pop in a little video and say it's time for the Sensational Seven. So this week with the Sensational Seven, um, for those of you who haven't watched the show before, this is the time of the show where I um, craft a list of seven items loosely organized around the personalities, personas of the dwarfs featured in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Sleepy, Happy, Grumpy, Dopey, Sneezy, Bashful, and Doc. And this week, my focus is Black Panther. Um, on Monday, they've announced that a Wakanda Black Panther series is going to be coming to Disney+. Plus. So I thought, well, how would the dwarfs shop for Wakanda merchandise. And starting off with Sleepy, I found these beautiful bedding choices. It's a a uh, pattern with the uh, Pan Black Panther uh, helmet there. I think that's the, the term for his uh, face shield there. And uh, it's a what they call the Black Panther Tribal Full Comforter. It's available over at Amazon. For Happy, I thought he, much like I enjoy my Grogu that flies around my house, it's a, this little toy, you push a button and it starts to hover and then you can put your hand under it and it'll just stay a set distance away from your hand as you walk around. And so it just kind of hovers there. So I thought, you know, Happy would enjoy having some fun with uh, Black Panther hovering around his house. This is over at Target. Um, I like that. <laughs> A lot of people need caffeine um, to uh, 
adjust their mindset in the morning. Otherwise, they could be quite grumpy. This is a Wakanda Forever Salute mug that's available over at Zazzle. Zazzle means that you'll be able to customize this mug. You can uh, change the coloring on the inside. Currently, it's set for um, maroon, but see, by a simple click of the button, it can be navy, green, whichever, and um, it features four Black Panther characters. Um, in the Wakanda salute, along with the words Wakanda forever on it. And then on the back of the mug, it has the Marvel and Black Panther logo. So that's from Zazzle. And these are licensed. So you're dealing um, with official uh, sanctioned uh, merchandise over at Zazzle. From Tervis, I selected the Black Panther icon with this beautiful purple swash because I picked it for Dopey. Um, purple hat, and uh, he tends to be a little clumsy, might spill things. So, you know, uh, a mug that, uh, you know, he's not going to spill anything with. But uh, Tervis brand, um, I don't know if you've, uh, have you purchased any Tervis, um, Becca? Are those in your cabinets? No, I, I, I don't have any Tervis. <laughs> I, I'm I'm quite fond of them. I've purchased a few over the past year. They're a, a little high. They're a pricier, but they're the double walled, so you don't get the sweat mm -hmm. uh, rings and everything. They keep things cooler. And then um, I've also found them to be rather durable because I've knocked mine around quite a bit, and it's managed to uh, stay together. For my pal Sneezy, I decided that I should get him just a, a little pocket square, something he can pull out, catch catch a sneeze or two in. And this is a Black Panther blue pocket square that is over at Amazon. For Bashful, a diary. This is a hardcover ruled journal with the Marvel Black Panther logo on it. Um, on the interior pages, it has some uh, design artwork as well. So you've got uh, inside cover with this artwork and then a space where you can um, slide in some other additional materials, kind of a, like a, a sleeve type element. So yeah, so I thought, you know, Bashful might want to write down his thoughts privately. And uh, so we can uh, do it inside this hardcover ruled journal. And finally, thinking of Doc, I try to think a bit more sensible. And in this case, a t-shirt that is a map of Wakanda. There you go, never get lost. <laughs> never get lost and uh, learn about it. Because I was thinking, I myself do not know the Wakandan geography very well. And with this new series on the horizon, perhaps I should uh, do a little bit more studying up on all that can be found in the beautiful uh, nation of Wakanda. So there you have it. The Sensational Seven for this week. Yeah, I didn't, which even, one, didn't even think about would that. You have, which, which one would you, which one would, might you bring home, Becca, from the... Uh, from the dwarfs uh, gathering of uh, Black Panther merchandise. Well, I do like everything, but that pocket square was actually really elegant. And I think I think that would be a fun thing to have to, uh, you know, more for Kyle, more to make Kyle wear it, but <laughs> I, I, I really I like you. that. It's actually 100% silk. So it's a very, very fine quality item as well. And it has a matching tie. So, so and, you know, have a nice uh, uh, look with it. <laughs> there we go. Well, <laughs> that might be making its way to my home sooner than later. There you go. <laughs> Let's see. Becca likes to tell you a few extra things that perhaps we didn't get to. And I'm going to try and open that up for you. Let's see. Okay, so these are what we talked about last time. So that's not going to be it. Let me open my folder and slide it on over there. Thanks, everybody, for your patience. My computer decided to uh, reboot on me. So that was uh, fun. Okay, so here you go. Yeah, we've got the tomorrow will be Disney Parks Wishables and they're themed to It's a Small World. So be on the lookout for that. They'll be on Shop Disney and then probably in the resorts as well. Um, if you've been a fan of Soul, Hue Unlimited did a whole did a series of four drawings or four pieces of four or four pieces of work uh, themed to the movie, and those items are now on Shop Disney in the form of shirts. Uh, there's of course more Funko Pops. There was so much this week. We had Mickey and Minnie, Lilo and Stitch, and then Solar Opposites. If you're a fan of that show, that's on Hulu. 
there's new pops for that. DCA 20th anniversary is coming up and there'll be some uh, t-shirts and other limited offerings with the new logo. So we've got a story for that over on Laughing Place. Uh, if you're into the tops trading cards, the digital cards, Falcon and Winter Soldier, they've got a costume collection. And finally, now through Thursday, uh, you can get 20% off when you buy two or more gifts from Shop Disney's Valentine's Day gift guide. So we've got an article with that. You use the code LOVE at checkout and you could, you could save some money. So lots to, lots to look at over on Laughing Place. And as always, we invite you to follow our, the specific uh, account on Twitter for this show, which is at Disney Merch Show. Obviously, we invite you to follow Laughing Place on Twitter for all sorts of Disney and theme park news and information, including merchandise. But for specifically merchandise, you can find that at Follow Disney Merch Show. Over here on our YouTube channel, we have all kinds of content going on all the time. This morning, we took people to... Um, Disney Hollywood Studios. We wandered Universal City Walk. Obviously, we had this show. This evening, we will have at 7.30 Disney Trivia Live, two trivia contests um, where you can play head-to-head -head against other Disney fans via the Kahoot app. We do that on Tuesdays and uh, Saturdays here on the Laughing Place YouTube channel. Um, tomorrow, we will have Marvel Time, right? Is, yeah, is tomorrow? Marvel Time. Mar Marvel time at one o'clock tomorrow on uh, this YouTube channel. And later in the week, we also have a uh, Star Wars uh, weekly uh, report. And on Mondays, Becca and Mike Mack bring you up to date on WandaVision uh, fun and merchandise. So like I say, lots going on here. So like and subscribe this to the stream. So you know what's happening. Um, I'm trying to think, Becca, anything else you want to share before we uh, bid farewell for this week's edition of Barely Necessities? I think I'm good. Did you enjoy The Bachelor last night? Uh, oh, no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's another show, but yeah. <laughs> Right, a little, a little behind the curtain after we say goodbye to all of you, Becca and I catch up on The Bachelor. So, <laughs> so uh, for now, I guess that's it in the world of um, Disney merchandise. We look forward to seeing you all real soon. Take care and uh, bye for now. <laughs>